So it's Matt here from Front the Tracks with a mystery unboxing. It's the brand new Galaxy Box from the gang at Culturefly in America. Made in China, Stars.com, Culturefly, New York. It's like the box is made of Beskar, but it's not. So I've already undone the tape on it to save all the hassle of you watching me try and do that. Star Wars Galaxy Box. And the first item we have, ooh, Mandalorian, this is the way. Oh, it's a nice quality waterproof jacket with the symbol of the mud horn. Nicely made. Couple of dangly toggly bits, decent quality zip. Made in China for culture fly. Nicely done piece. Outer lining and inner lining. That's been look blooming awesome. What's next in the box? So crinkly. It's a water bottle with Mando himself on it. That's nice quality. Oh, one of those cool flip tops. So no spillages. Yep, yeah, I like that. Straw all the way to the bottom. Awesome sauce. That's gonna go to work for me. Next item we have, digging around in the box. Ooh. Now if I'm gonna be playing Night Quest, this will be my knapsack. The Mandalorian. Oh look! There he is. There's the child in your little knapsack. Couple of pouches. Oh, and a zip on the top. So a decent big pocket, nicely lined. Who's on the front? Oh, like a nice mud horn. Adjustable shoulder strap. Oh, no, non-adjustable shoulder strap. That's a really nice quality bag though. Magnetic clasps and faux sort of leathery strap things, but it's the uh, magnetic clasps that clip onto it. Perfect little convention bag that. Or a man bag. Next up we have, I don't know what this is. It's a something with the Mando on it. Oh, that's soft. Oh, it's a mini hand towel. Oh, no, I like that. That's that Topps trading card style art they did with the vintage trading cards. Like the old stickers and cards. So precious cargo. It's a nice quality cloth. White on one side. Really good toweling. Lovely quality print as well. I mean, look at him. Yeah, I like that. That's cool. Another cloth item. Ooh, I'm a happy boy. This looks like it's a Boba Fett piece. Now I'm a Boba Fett focus collector. This is right up my street. Ooh, that's silky. Is that a bandana, I think? Culture fly polyester banner. Bandana, yeah, not banner, bandana. Oh, that's, that's pretty damn wicked. Yeah, I like that. Really nice. Really nice print quality as well. Need to let it get out and for unfold. The Moff Gideon notebook. So this is where you make your plans to take over the entire empire in the uh, darker times after they've gone. Well, the lighter times, I suppose. So, oh, it's got a little paper sleeve around it. Only for age three plus. So no two year olds are allowed to scribble in this. Probably need a way of doing that. 
Just a nice plain, oh, nice limp logo on the corners. Long live the Empire, the legend continues. Says the moth with his dark saber. What else we got in there? Ooh! It's an old man loot pin badge. I mean, honestly, who knew Mark Hamill actually did that work? That secret was kept for so long. I just thought it was some bloke with dots on his face. And it was in places, but it was also Hamill. That's ever so nice. And with the grey tunics, not the black or the brown. Yeah, double pinned, closing pin. That's awesome. Is that it? No, I found something else in the bottom of the box. Ooh! That's cool. Nice art print of, hang on, get the reflection off. Snips and Grogu himself when we found out his name. Art print. Don't give the bag to kids. No, I wouldn't either. Yep, yeah, nice and simple. Nice little bonus item out of there. There's something else in the bag. Uh, silica gel, don't eat it, it's not sweeties. And the pièce de résistance, the magnetic organizer for your desk. So in the bottom of the box, there's the child himself, and a little note showing your false prizes. Yep, it's a bandana, an art print, a windbreaker, a pin, a water bottle, a messenger bag, a kitchen towel, a magnetic desk organizer, desk organizer, and a notebook. And he's in there. So we'll get rid of the box. See, this was an item they revealed early on to tease people about the box. And I was quite happy about it. It looks very cool. I've already cut the tape. So, hand is magnetic. Let's have a look. Oh, he's face down. Sorry, Grogu. Oh, that is. Ever such a nice sculpt. That probably doesn't sound too good, but look at him. And then there, that's the little magnet on there. I am very impressed with that. Nice little tampon on the bottom to show off his licensed. We've got metal, we've got the, let's see if you can catch Luke. They're aluminium. I have to grab my house keys. Oh yeah. Decent magnetic strength to that. Good for paper clips, bulldog clips, and other little metal bits for your desk. A little pot in the bottom for him to hold them as well. Very nice quality. I like that. So you click on the link below and you live in North America because it's only open for America because that's the only license that the guys at Culture Flow have got and it's very expensive to ship outside of North America. Um, you can buy one of these now. Click the link and tell them Fanta sent you. Thanks to Culture Flow for sending this out to us for review. Very impressed with the amount of gear you get. Lots of lovely, lovely things. Nice art print. Love the bandana. Water bottle. Kitchen towel, the bag, and the windbreaker. So, laid it all out nicely. Final verdict. If you want to buy this, you can't. It's already been and done. But if you want the next one, which is the dark side, you can go to the Culture Flow website, link down below. And you can buy the next one that ships in October for $50. Or you can sign up for a year and pay 45 bucks a quarter. So there's only four boxes a year. You can have it to every house completely free. It is only North America exclusive. And every item, all nine items in it, are completely exclusive. The notebook I'm going to use for conventions and the bag. The water bottle's an everyday use item. The art print's a bit of filler, but a nice bit of soaker. You know, a bit of art for snips is always a good thing. Grogu with his magnetic hand thing. He's lost my paper clips in his study. The windbreaker is going out for everyday use. Probably going to keep it in my car if I'm out and about and it rains. Brilliant piece. Tea towel, towel for the kitchen. That's going in my kitchen. Bandana's going to get rebagged and go in my FET collection. 
And the Luke pin, I wear them on special occasions. Because old man Luke, well, no. Post-Jedi Luke, middle age Luke, I suppose, early middle age, is flipping brilliant. And he jumped off there. He's used the force. So 45, 50 bucks for this lot, absolute steal. You'd pay 10 bucks at the convention for a pin, you know. So I really like it. Huge thanks to Culturefly for the review sample. Uh, go and buy your next one now. It is the dark side. So buy that.